We're here at the Bank of England and it looks like the rate hike cycle may be finally over. We've had 14 rate rises, but the Bank of England has now voted to keep rates on hold. And a surprisingly sharp fall in core inflation has given the bank the green light to press the pause button. But it was a close call and four members out of the nine strong committee voted to raise rates again. And the bank is very reluctant to rule out further tightening. So just how likely is another rate hike in November? The bank has said it's laser focused on services inflation and private sector wage growth and we'll only get one more data release of each before that November meeting. And you've got to think, if the Bank of England had enough evidence to pause rates today, what's going to change before November? Of course, we could get some big data surprises and that might require one more rate hike. But generally, the bank is also acutely aware that the rate hikes we've had so far are only just beginning to bite. Unemployment is now clearly increasing and that suggests the days of 8% or higher private sector wage growth are now behind us. Services inflation should begin to come down now as well, that lower gas prices are beginning to feed through. So the bottom line is that we think the Bank of England has finished hiking and that turns the spotlight onto rate cuts. Now, financial markets think this is going to be a much more gradual process than we're going to see in the US or the Eurozone. We're less sure and we're penciling in the first rate cut for the middle of next year. Now, if we do get a repricing of UK rate expectations, that could mean further weakness for the pound against the euro over the next six months.